Ever wonder why some people believe in conspiracy theories? Why they find them so compelling? Conspiracy theories, those intriguing narratives that challenge conventional wisdom, have become a common part of our modern culture. They're everywhere, from the dark corners of the internet to the dinner table discussions. These alternative explanations can be fascinating, even addictive. But why do some of us find them so convincing? What's happening in our brains when we buy into these stories? So let's dive in and explore the psychology behind why people believe in conspiracy theories. First off, people have an inherent need for order and control. You see, our brains are hardwired to seek out patterns, to make sense of the world around us. It's why we see shapes in clouds and hear melodies in random noise. This instinctive drive can, however, lead us down some peculiar paths. Take conspiracy theories, for instance. When faced with unsettling, unpredictable events, some folks find solace in these elaborate narratives. They offer a simple explanation to complex problems, a villain to blame, a narrative to navigate. Suddenly, the world isn't so chaotic anymore. It's all part of a grand plan, however sinister that plan may be. But here's the kicker. This quest for order can blind us to the truth, trapping us in a web of misinformation. And that's when things get dicey. In essence, conspiracy theories can offer a comforting, albeit misguided, sense of order in a chaotic world. Next, our brains are wired with certain cognitive biases that can make us susceptible to conspiracy thinking. Cognitive biases are essentially shortcuts our brains take when processing information, and while they can be helpful, they can also lead us astray. Take confirmation bias, for example. This is when we favor information that confirms our pre-existing beliefs and ignore information that contradicts them. So, if someone already has a mistrust of authority, they're more likely to believe a conspiracy theory that paints those in power in a negative light. Then there's proportionality bias, the tendency to believe that big events must have big causes. So, when something monumental happens, like a global pandemic or a political scandal, it's difficult for us to accept that it could be due to something as mundane as human error or natural occurrence. These cognitive biases can often lead us to see connections where there are none, fueling our belief in conspiracy theories. Another reason people may believe in conspiracy theories, the thrill of the hunt. There's something exhilarating about delving into the unknown, seeking out hidden truths. It's like being a detective in your own mystery novel. Every clue leads to another. Every theory opens a new door. This allure of discovery, the dopamine rush of connecting the dots, can be quite addictive. The thrill of the hunt, then, can be a powerful motivator in the belief in conspiracy theories. But it's not just individual psychology at play here. Group dynamics can also fuel conspiracy theories. The desire for social acceptance to be part of a community can reinforce the belief in conspiracy theories. It's a bit like when you start believing your friends claim that pineapple belongs on pizza just because everyone in your group does. The need to belong can sometimes override our rational thinking. So the social aspect of conspiracy theories can't be underestimated. Fear and uncertainty also play a big role in conspiracy thinking. Imagine navigating uncharted waters with no compass or map. The unknown is intimidating, isn't it? And when the future is uncertain, it's natural for our minds to seek explanations, to crave control. Conspiracy theories fill that void. They offer a narrative, however implausible, that makes sense of the chaos. They paint a world that is less random, less terrifying. In times of fear and uncertainty, conspiracy theories can provide a false sense of security. Lastly, never underestimate the power of a good story. Conspiracy theories often weave intricate tales filled with mystery, suspense and intrigue. These narratives tap into our innate love for storytelling, pulling us into a world where we are the enlightened few amidst a sea of ignorance. They captivate us, they entertain us, and most importantly, they make us feel special. So, it's no surprise that these tales spread like wildfire, sweeping up more and more unsuspecting minds. A good story, then, can be a powerful tool in the spread of conspiracy theories. But it's not all doom and gloom. There are ways to debunk and challenge conspiracy theories. Let's set the record straight. Conspiracy theories may seem compelling, but they often crumble under the weight of critical thinking. Encouraging this skill can be a powerful antidote. Alongside this, promoting media literacy, the ability to discern fact from fiction in a world of information overload, is key. 
It's about questioning sources, understanding biases, and recognizing sensationalism. By promoting critical thinking and media literacy, we can help counter the spread of conspiracy theories. So there you have it. The psychology of why people believe in conspiracy theories. We've journeyed through the human need for order and control, the cognitive biases that color our perception, the thrill of the hunt for hidden truths, the influence of group dynamics, the role of fear and uncertainty, and the captivating power of storytelling. All these elements intertwine, creating a web that entraps even the most discerning minds. Remember, understanding why people believe in conspiracy theories is the first step in challenging them. If you found this video informative and interesting, don't hesitate to hit that like button and share it far and wide. And of course, subscribe to our channel for more enlightening content on the mysteries of the mind. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep questioning everything.